Hello loyal subjects. How are you doing today? Today we are going to be talking about the third book in the Giver Quartet, Messenger by Lois Lowry. <laughs> I keep holding up this book in each one of these reviews, but know that it is the four. I'm not just like tricking ya or anything. I cannot say a whole lot about Messenger for people who haven't read the books yet, otherwise you're gonna get spoiled. So I would say read it and then come back and then we can talk about it. You know the drill. So Messenger. We start off this book with a new protagonist once again, Matty, who is Matt in Gathering Blue. This book is set six years after the end of Gathering Blue, so a lot of shit has changed. For one thing, Matty is the messenger for this village. He is the only one that can continuously go in and out of the bordering forest without receiving these warnings that if he comes back, he's gonna get killed. I would have to say that this book was definitely the most ominous out of the three that I've read so far. This village, for one thing, is notoriously known for being full of these kind, caring people that take care of each other when no one else will. But we see that that starts changing with these mysterious trades. It's just really creepy overall. I thought at first that these parents were like, selling their children into sex slavery or something. So that was pretty creepy enough, but then when we learn that the forest around the village is like an illusion, and it's just mimicking the state that these people are in, that's a bit funky. What I did really love about this was how much Jonas we got. We knew at the end of Gathering Blue that Jonas was going to be in this village, but I didn't expect him to be in this big role of leadership. He's only like 20 years old and he is the leader of this village. It's really nice to see how far he's come, how much he's come into his own and just how much wiser he's gotten and he can utilize his powers more. So we have this whole situation where the village is being closed off so that no more new people can come and join them, which is the biggest load of bullshit I ever heard in my life. So Maddie has to go back and finally get Kira to come and live in the village like she always planned to do. So we have this bit of back and forth between Maddie's perspective and then Lita's perspective back in the village and he, we keep getting these lines dropped on us that Forrest is planning to destroy them somehow. And I was like, no, I don't want them to die. I didn't, I, I didn't even know what was gonna happen, but Jesus Christ, some of those descriptions when he's describing the state that they're in when Forrest is attacking them were just really gruesome. Like when he said Kira's legs, he could see the muscles and the tendons. Oh, that was a very vivid picture that I did not necessarily need. But we're nearing the end of the novel. This one was a bit more fast-paced than Gathering Blue, and Kira and Maddie, shit ain't looking too good for them. So Lita has gone into the forest to try and rescue them, but of course he's getting attacked as well, and the village is sick, they're sick, forest is sick, everybody's sick. And with all this sickness, you could guess what happened next. There's been this whole thing that Maddie is one of these people that has powers, and he wanted to become messenger, but Lita wasn't giving him the name. So I guessed that he was going to use his power, which he had been saving, to heal the forest, especially since the forest had been described as being sick. So like last five pages, we get Maddie just reaching into the ground and fisting the dirt and just pouring all of his healing powers into the forest and of course he manages to make everything better <laughs> in the process dies. That was really sad but I kind of saw it coming at the same time. Uh, 
I didn't want Maddie to die. He was a nice guy. But now I'm super excited. There's one book left. How is everything going to wrap up? I'm thinking that in Sun, worlds are going to collide. We're going to see people from Jonas's old community. We're going to see people from Kira's community. We're obviously going to see people in Village. So <laughs> that is going to just be one wild ride. How is this all going to turn out? I've got no fucking idea. Your guess is as good as mine. I just hope that Jonas and Kira and Kira's dad all make it out alive and nobody else has to die. Because that's sad. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.